Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Nube, is my name and I'm at your service right now. Uh, I am just here to update you on an urgent uh, matter regarding the Zimbabwe exemption permit. Uh, you will remember that the Minister of Home Affairs, that is Dr. Arun Mutualeti, has been in court or was held to court by the Helen Sussman Foundation and other organizations that are standing up for the rights of Zimbabweans who are in South Africa. We have, since 2010, been living and working as well as doing business under the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So the minister first lost his case uh, at the Pretoria High Court. He appealed at the same court. He lost it again. He went to the all the way to the Supreme Court where again he has lost the case so the court has upheld the earlier decision by the lower courts uh, I will read a statement from the Helen Sussman Foundation which is the one that took the minister to court its written media statement constitutional court dismisses appeal against ZEP judgment yesterday the constitutional court dismissed an application by the minister of home affairs for leave to appeal a June 2023 Pretoria High Court judgment which held that the Zimbabwean exemption permit had been unlawfully terminated. That June 2023 judgment was unequivocal in holding that the minister is obliged to follow a fair consultation process which duly considers the rights of those affected by terminating the ZEP before he be lawfully allowed to do so. The Constitutional Court's order affirms with finality that this most basic of legal duties binds the minister, notwithstanding changes in office that may occur once a new government is formed when deciding the ZEP's future. It is a vital affirmation for ZEP holders and South African citizens alike that principles of fair hearing and rational government are indispensable to our constitutional democracy. So what this specifically means is that the minister must now be obliged by the earlier court decision, that is by the Pretoria High Court, which ruled that the cancellation uh, unanimously of the Zimbabwe exemption permit affecting more than 200,000 Zimbabweans was unlawful and constitutional and void. So now what has to be done is that the minister, whoever comes in, it's not even about toilet, it's about whoever assumes the home affairs portfolio as the new cabinet is set to be announced, must abide by this decision by the court that there must be due consultation which considered, which considers the views of those who hold the ZEP and NGOs that are affected and or uh, interested in this matter we, who are viewed here as stakeholders but also business and other uh, departments as well as uh, formations or organizations that are dealing with Zimbabweans who are, have an interest in the matter uh, regarding Zimbabwe as well on the ZEP must be consulted until a, a way forward is found. It cannot be a unanimous decision by the minister as was done by Dr. Aaron Mutualeti. So the court has upheld the earlier decision by the lower court, that is the constitutional court, which is the apex court, which is the highest court in South Africa, safeguarding the rights uh, as enshrined in the constitution, has upheld the ruling that was earlier made in June 2023 by the Pretoria High Court. So this means that uh, whoever comes in must address this court ruling and must address whatever they are going to do to abide by the court ruling. But for now, uh, our advice to those who have the ZEP is that there has been no directive from government that you should stop 
applying for your waivers or you should stop applying for the mainstream South African permits or you should stop applying for the new ZEP which expires next year. So as it is, you can continue to apply for your waivers. You can continue to apply for your mainstream South African permits if you've already been granted the waiver. You can continue to apply for the work permits. You can apply for the business permits and the study permits as you are already doing unless and until there's been another directive from the Department of Home Affairs, regardless of whoever comes into office, you know that it's already at vote that is going to leave no stone unturned. Now he has hit a brick wall at the Constitutional Court. We don't know what is going to happen. We don't know if he's going to be retained. We don't know if he's going to be uh, removed from that portfolio. He has lost several cases, uh, but we are yet to see implementation of those court decisions because he has vowed that there should be a separation of powers between the executive and the judiciary. But now the judiciary has upheld uh, all the rulings that have been done along the way. So right now, this is where we stand. Insolite has lost the court appeal at the Supreme Court. We don't know if he's going to go back again to the same court and appeal. But you'll remember that when he lost the cases all along, he was told that there is, it, it, his case has no uh, chance of succeeding. We don't know what he's going to do now, but we keep following this case. But for now, the minister has lost again in the Constitutional Court. Uh, we will continue to update you as to what is likely to happen especially with a new cabinet going to be announced by President Cyril Ramaphosa, who is going to be inaugurated today. The ceremony is on already in Pretoria. So we will continue to update you. Thank you very much for subscribing to, for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.